From the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good morning, this is Robert Presley with your Campus Weather Service forecast for this Monday, October 5th, 2015. Let's start by taking a look at radar and satellite across the eastern United States. You can see Hurricane Joaquin continuing to spin out in the Atlantic. It's moving well out to sea, but we're still seeing impacts along the eastern seaboard. Certainly some dangerous rip currents and high tides across beaches across the eastern seaboard. And you can see this persistent band of rain that has been situated over portions of South Carolina over the past several days. They've received in excess of two feet of rain in some spots, some very serious flooding going on in that part part of the country. Thankfully, we have not been dealing with that here. We have a very nice start to your Monday. You can see that sun just beginning to peak over the ridges this morning, and the, that val the, the valley fog is, is really quite clear on the Nittany Valley picture this morning. So we take a look at your current conditions. Our current temperature is 46, and with that dew point at 45, that explains why we have that fog occurring, especially with a calm wind. Visibility down to one mile at the State College Airport. So if we take a look across the rest of the state, you can see that that, that fog is really confined to the valleys, also down to three quarters of a mile in Bradford and Franklin. But across the rest of the state, um, perfect visibility, 10 out of 10. So really only a concern if you're going to be in the valleys, but if you do run into that fog, make sure you take it easy out there this morning. Temperatures across the state are relatively consistent. Most areas are in the mid-40s to the low 50s. 51 currently in Philadelphia, 46 in Williamsport and State College, 45 in Franklin, and the cold spot, as usual, up in Bradford this morning at 38 degrees. So if we take a look at our eye on the future forecast, you can see Hurricane Joaquin continuing to move off the coast. And it looks like as we head into this evening, that rain should begin to abate in portions of South Carolina. So that is certainly good news. Up in Pennsylvania, it looks like we're going to be mostly clear for today, so that's good news for us as well. As we head into tonight and into tomorrow, though, we will be watching as a weak disturbance moves in from the northwest, and that will bring a few clouds down into our portion of the state. Um, eastern Pennsylvania should remain mostly clear, however, as we head into tomorrow. Those clouds will begin to thicken up again as we head into Tuesday night and into Wednesday. Can't rule out an isolated shower, especially up towards Erie, as we head into Wednesday morning. But as we head into Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday night, looks like those clouds really begin to break down. And that will set the stage for a beautiful Thursday. Should be mostly sunny with high temperatures near 70 degrees. So let's take a look at your forecast for today. Your high temperature forecast is to be around 64 degrees. We will have to contend with the fog, but that will give way to mostly sunny skies by this afternoon. And as we head into tonight, it looks like It'll be mostly clear skies that'll allow those temperatures to drop down to 42 degrees. And with winds forecasted to be light, that will allow some patchy fog to form again as we head into tomorrow morning. So now your seven day forecast. And you can see a much nicer week in store, especially compared to last week. A few more clouds as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday, but then a beautiful day on Thursday. We will have to contend with some rain on Friday, and that could be problematic with the homecoming parade on Friday night. But the good news is, is that it will clear out by Saturday. So we could even get in a dry football game, which is really, uh, really a break from the past several, several weekends. That's the weather for Pennsylvania. I'm Robert Presley, hoping that you have a great day and a great week.